Hello, this is Alekius, and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2 German Brawlers, episode 47. We have just knocked Italy out of the war, retaken Libya, and invaded Tunisia successfully. All that left is France, they're on the ropes. Unfortunately, we have a very high unrest, so it's a race to see who can knock the other out of the war first and uh, thus our submarine warfare policy is unrestricted we've stopped building subs we've built our new line of nice now 14 inch battle cruisers and Scharnhorst 16 inch battle cruisers as a little bit of an experiment we've got our new light carriers for escort duty and our Lutzows are fully operational now. With that, I'm not going to delay any further. Let's get things rolling. Here, right off the bat. Fleet morale shaken. Sink a merchant ship, a neutral merchant ship, 44 to 16, definitely to our advantage. Convoy attack. French are unable to muster enough ships. We have, we should have the superiority down there. Oh yeah, we have a set of coastal fortifications building as well. So that'll be a savings about 14, 14,000. But they have another six and eight months to go. Uncertain margin of superiority, really. Enables blind fire. Eighteen to thirty seven. Well, twenty seven to thirty seven. All engagement. All engagement. Postal raid. Will they accept? Excellent. These will stay close to the coast. Battle cruisers will forge ahead. <clears throat> All right, we're starting to get sighting reports. Bring our carriers up to speed. Battle cruisers as well. All right, some air combat going on. Emden being bombed. More aircraft approaching. Damage some aircraft. Damage some more aircraft. Base of actions. Emden being hit again. No results from enemy air. Two bomb hits. 
One penetrating. Off spay. Molt K. Three bomb hits. Minimal damage except for a loss in top speed. Get them uh, going a bit closer to the battle cruisers if we're going to hold a gap. What we can do is send some of our fighters out, not as a strike necessarily. Twenty-eight. Okay. Keep searching for the enemy carriers. There's judging by reports. I'm gonna say there's at least two. Thunder being hit. Friendly aircraft doing their their thing. All right, we have a sighting of a destroyer. are cruising rapidly southward. We have a new sighting report. The south. Another sighting to the south. Which they should be retreating now. And since we're getting a bit closer, get our cap up to maximum. Stay close to the battle cruisers. Bomb hits on the carriers. They do appear to be going directly away from us. Judging by the pattern of Sighting reports. Taking out one cruiser or destroyer. Destroyer. Deferred a little bit to the west. Oh. 
supposedly there's a sighting up to the west now. Twenty Vickers saber hit. Uh, yep. Not too concerned about the saber. Okay, this this looks like an accurate position. This, whatever it is, is, uh, that squadron is definitely keeping that carrier well sighted. There's Horsley C are approaching the enemy. Bomb hits. They may be slowed. And we have sighting of them. Closing in rapidly. Heavy up the arm. What appears to be a heavy cruiser, but we'll see if that's true. An Armog dunk. Burn takes a hit, or Bjorn. Couple hits now. Couple more. Got her pegged. Yeah, hammering her now. So we can, yeah, we'll detach the Elba. Didn't know she was taking significant damage. Well, she's only dropped three, three knots. Couple thousand pound bombs in the deck. Generally does make for a bad day. It looks like we're going to get both of them. circle around possibly pick the mole okay back up See if we can get this espingole Once they finish uh, pounding the Armog knock. Alright, there we go. Peg her a couple more times. There we go. No ships left, two carriers, two destroyers down for some light damage. Or Magnoc taking plenty of heavy hits. Two bomb hits, though. 600, two 600 pound bombs, one of them of which slowed them down. I believe that's from the Brits as well. Bjorn taking 170, or sorry, 18 heavy hits and a 1400 pound bomb from one of our. Our bombers. Our carrier took 2,000 pound bombs. Not heavily damaged. Molke took three bomb hits, 1,000 pound bombs, one to the engine room, slowing her down, but she didn't participate very much. And then no damage otherwise. And hit percentages around three to six percent. Two 
Two Prestige, Battle of Helgolan Bight. Very well done. And I am going to restart the program because of the invasion era. So I will be right back. And here we are back in Rule the Waves 2. Ready to generate another turn. Uncertain margin of victory. Still getting. Gotta be an issue with that. Alright, there they go. France buckles under the pressure. Now we have choices all over the world. However, I am liking solidifying our hold in the Mediterranean. So I think I'm going to go with Sardinia. Do I want the Antilles? I want the New Hebrides, Polynesia, Madagascar, maybe. I think I'll settle for just Mediterranean holdings, though. Be nice to make it difficult for France to operate in some of these other areas. Ping Chao Wan. Proof aircraft handling. Ooh, budget severely reduced. I mean, that's not exactly surprising. Northern Europe. Don't have any Mediterranean heavy cruisers, do we? I'm almost certain we're going to need to um, force requirement twelve thousand. So we will leave the Elsass. Cancel ordered move. That's the thing. Oh, we struggle with this. Northern Europe. Right back there, but it still has the move. Leave her down there. And everyone else in Northern Europe, with the exception of, leave two of the condors down in the Mediterranean. The rest will go to Northern Europe. And then we will. Redo the Columbia. Great upgrade. Ooh, we can actually give her an advanced director now. So how are we going to save that weight? You know what? Let's not. Well, I have to do something with them. So we'll take our four remaining Columbias, all the rest of them having been sunk in various actions. We have our polar sterns. Which are actually overweight. Those refit. Uh, 
this somewhat more intelligently and select them all first. Open design for rebuild. And then open design for rebuild. Actually, I have a bit of weight left. Take the advanced director. There's three five inch guns. Yeah. Get more AA directors. I mean, AA guns. And then the Karsten ASWs. Do the same thing. And there we go. Now let's halt construction on two of these. Even that's going to tear into our reserves quite quickly. Uh, who do we want to go to war with next? Don't mind a repeat. Do Russia, not really interested in Japan. US is probably very scary now. Although that might be a fun closing war. 15 carriers. Great Britain, very similar. So does Japan. Historical air aviation. Juggernauts. Well, maybe I shouldn't call Great Britain an aviation juggernaut of history. And we'll throw the US into the mix. Alrighty. A lot of them are in fair to good, so not saving much. Oh yeah. And save a little bit of money on maintenance. The light cruisers, they can be mothballed. The carriers can be mothballed. Destroyers. I'll just put them in the reserve fleet. They don't need to be mothballed. They cost so little. Corvettes will be mothballed though. Eh. Keep changing my mind. Everything else will remain active. All right, what are we spending money on? Mostly construction. Got 15 there. Got a thousand there. All right, I think we just waited out. No, I don't mind sharing at this point. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Take a look. A base overview. No, it is base. Close for location. That's what I'm looking for. Sardinia. Agliari and Olbia. Alright, add dive bombers to Benghazi. I already have dive bombers. Medium bombers, that's what I'm looking for. 
12 medium bombers and bring the dive bombers up to full. We'll do the same things with these. We want 20 fighters. 20 fighters. Eight flying boats. Oh, are those even really required anymore? When you use regular aircraft to do the scouting. We want our torpedo bombers. We want our dive bomber. And we want our medium bombers. Brings us up to 7,600 in naval aircraft. Here's the rest of our submarines. Our corvettes reconstructed. There's our coastal batteries in Libya. They should do some uh, aircraft designs. It's been a while, it's 1945. Our oldest is the fighter. Yeah, so we should uh, really make a new one. I expect reliability to be good on all of these nowadays. Important things for fighter. Probably speed and firepower. Weight savings. The what else do we have constructing? All right, we're going to have to halt those as well. There's two more, three more. I don't mind a gaff. With whom was it? Okay, all over the place. Okay, let's get the ones we really want to see up and running. New Italian bomber. Root armor face toughness. Of course we'll purchase it. Supercharged diesels. Diesels are 10% lighter. Nice. Oh, an accident with France. Absolutely. Not mind going to war with them. Integrated CIC increases combat air patrol effectiveness. Seven more Corvettes. Ship born high frequency direction finding. Intelligence and ASW. There's our two. Or actually, we have a couple that finished since last I mothballed. Is this back down? Another one finished. A new Italian carrier, Martin. New flying boat by Private Venture. Range is not that good. Firepower is good. Maneuverability is awful. Speed's better. No reason to replace it.
What do you recommend? Definitely don't want an international disarmament conference. Uh, conference. We, you know what? Japan. All right. Get angry at Italy. Ramp up the U.S. Anybody we're not allied with, we'll go to war with now. Mothball this guy. Heavy cruisers are pretty old. What would a refit look like? Well, we need better fire control. We would get to add a bit more to AA battery. Add some torpedo reloads. Hmm. All guns are good quality. Torpedo defense isn't that great. Oh, we could either drop five rounds or we could replace the machinery. Not get an extra knot out of that, it would just free up space. Perhaps do uh, a larger secondary battery. Or a larger secondary battery. Or a larger. Is that even doable? Oh, ho, ho. we could do that. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, let's do something to that effect. And we'll go ahead and do it right away. Uh, to cover, we are going to set... The Braunschweig and the Goeben on foreign station. Don't think this is quite enough. But we will go ahead and actually, uh, we can't. I was looking to see if they we could redesign them for colonial service. So that we didn't need that Amazon. Get them all rebuilt. In our nymph class. What are really the raiders? Not that I expect them to be of particularly great use. Not at this point. I'm happy with that. Although we're definitely not going to be able to afford that. So we will halt our two new large ships. Anti-aircraft artillery, large shrapnel AA shells. Yeah, whatever. New phase search, new fighter prototypes. More than, almost doubling speed, not more than. Range is similar, firepower is way higher. Maneuverability and toughness is greater. Wow, can carry 1600 pound bomb, that's craziness. I think I will take the one with the most maneuverability and toughness. 
which also happens to have the greatest range. Mesher Smith 232. All right, what other aircraft do we have? Torpedo bomber. We need a new torpedo bomber. Things I want out of a torpedo bomber. Toughness. And speed. Go back, check on our mothball, the Corvette. New cruiser on a goodwill. We'll piss off the US. Depth charge mortar. A enables trainable depth charge mortars. Excellent. Italy being aggressive again. Uh, no. We're not selling to a potential enemy. Gradual improvement of armor. Rebellion in the French Antilles. Oh, the new docks are completed. U.S. willing to sell us shipboard aircraft operation for combat information center. Unless that CIC stands for something else, because it's an increased cap effectiveness. Support aircraft. Yeah, that would be out of the combat center. Control of aircraft. <clears throat> Why not increase the docks further? Seven more months for our foreign station. Uh, heavy cruisers to finish. Independence for Ireland. Independence for the Falklands. Nope, not selling anything to the US. Approved electro optical director. Improved air search radar. Potential enemy, well, yeah, oh, okay, I'll sell to the Russia, Russians. Yeah, they're a potential enemy, but we have, they're no threat at this point. In fact, I might drop the intelligence funding. Submarines with anechoic coatings. The British we will share with, of course. No, the 232 has issues. Airdrop hull for submarines. I'm surprised that that was not discovered earlier, considering they'd figured that out for aircraft decades before. Oh yeah, so much faster. Good range too. Carries the torpedo up to the medium range. Toughness, maneuverability. I want the most toughness. I need to go with this model. I want the most range. I go with the Junkers. Not really interested in the maneuverability. And considering most of what I do, I am happy with the Heinchel. Still developing. So let's get another one. 
Little plane scout. We want speed and range. At least I do. Francis crushed the rebels. And we no longer have a security agreement with Britain. Which is sad. It has been such a, a mutually beneficial relationship. Increased torpedo readiness. New torpedo bomber. This one is not as tough as the one we just designed. Speed is good, but I'm not really interested. All right, let's take a look at our aircraft. It's obsolete the old fighter since its firepower is non-existent. We have finished all of our heavy cruisers. We'll resume on our heavies. Get our cruisers headed to our various foreign stations. So we need West Africa, South Africa, Indian Ocean. West Africa. South Africa, Indian Ocean, then we also need Southeast Asia, South Pacific, and Northeast Asia, we need the Northern Pacific? No. Southeast Asia. Northeast Asia, South, we don't need the South Pacific, we need the Central Pacific, and the North Pacific, it's been so long since I've rearranged them, I've completely forgotten. Southern Pacific Detail. No, not you. South Pacific Details. None required. Central Pacific. None required. Oh, but I wanted, I wanted some sort of presence in the area. That's what it was. Central and North, or do I want South? I think I want South. Central is very bland. just to make sure they have a heavy invasion fleet if they want to invade these territories. And with that, we are over time, so I'm going to go ahead and save here. Thank you so much for staying till the end. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. It does influence what I do. And I will see you next time. Take care.